EMAP field cheat sheet number seven, integration with Google Earth. EMAP field allows you to send a map image, observation data, or incident data to Google Earth. This will then appear in your temporary places in Google Earth. To find the tool, go to the J Observations panel, or go to tab five, printing and export, send to Google Earth. First, you need to create a new observation. Select from the observation types and then click in your map to enter in the observation. Put some details about the observation in and once you submit that, go to tab 5, printing and export, send to Google Earth. You can then send either a map image or send your observations. You can send the map image and this will send what is on your screen and overlay it in Google Earth. Or you can send your observations to Google Earth and it will overlay both the observation and their comments. Select observations. It is recommended that you use Google Earth version 5 or above. Google Earth streams imagery from servers to your PC and this requires an internet connection to do so. Google Earth caches imagery on your hard drive and that means that if there is an area that you zoom to frequently in the image, this will be saved on your machine and the performance will be faster. To use the Google Earth navigation controls, you can zoom in by scrolling your mouse wheel forward or up. You can zoom out by scrolling your mouse wheel backwards or down. You can use 3D panning by holding down the shift key and holding down your left mouse button. You can reset your map by hitting the letter R on your keyboard and you can reset the north position by clicking the letter N on your keyboard. To enhance the terrain exaggeration, go to Tools, Options, 3D View, and in the terrain quality, make sure that your elevation exaggeration is set to either 2.5 or 3. To change the coordinate display in Google Earth, go to Tools, Options, 3D View, Show Lat Long. You can change the way that coordinates are shown in here. You'll then see that the coordinates are displayed at the bottom of your screen. To check when an image was taken, use the date on the left hand side of your screen, not what is shown in the centre. The centre date is the copyright date. 